Ming He clenches his ice cold hand and pushes it hard onto the ground, he jumps high up, creating a ring of ice crystals around his body, in just a second, an ice dragon formed up, curling around him, temporarily keeping a distance from Lu Yi, he covers his face by his hands, Ming He uses his strength to scream, sending the ice dragon flying away with a powerful aura that shakes the area. Blowing away Lu Yi's illusions in the blink of an eye, the layer of ice soon grows thick on the rooftop. His trike's aftershock sends Lu Yi flying back, Lu Qian screams loudly but cannot do anything, Ming He still firmly reminds Lu Yi, if you want me to believe in you, please don't come any closer, the thick layer of ice created a barrier between them, temporarily, Lu Yi cannot comes close to Ming He, but he's still talking, you still have feelings of comradeship for your Wulong comrades, that's why you're suspecting me. But do you no believe in Professor Wu Long either? He glances at Wu Long. That man's still the same as before, as the day Wu Long welcomed Qin Yu, a guy wearing glasses from the group of astronomers shouts, at least believe in Professor Wu Long, who has done nothing but contribute to humanity, he can't be a monster, and even this woman, she commands Ming He, regardless of your feelings, you should let Professor Wu Long onto the helicopter first. Wasn't the main purpose of your mission to rescue Professor Wu Long in the first place? young man, it's good to have your own judgment, but the situation is quite urgent, I need to take these important notes on these calamity beasts and leave, otherwise, how will humanity manage to move on from this, moreover, this woman is completely obsessed with Professor Wu Long so she fully trusted him, she screams, Professor Wu Long put in so much effort for humanity, there's no way he's a part of those monsters that hide themselves within the astronomy team, not stopping there, Lu Qian and Lu Yi, each of them screams at Ming. His ears, just like they are having a rap contest, as they realize that speaking normal won't change Ming He's mind, they begin to scream and swear at him just to make him get the professor onto the helicopter, he remains silent for a while, then he says, not long ago, teacher Tang Hang and I visited a town in the southeast that demons had completely destroyed, there, we found a calamity beast that deeply surprised us, they were a bunch of parasitic demons with high intelligence that had, latched onto human bodies, at first, Teacher Tang Hang and I felt that this was something important that should be shared, the existence of this demons was something that we ought to tell the world about, but after we split up, Teacher Tang Hang never announced this, he quickly led the Dragon Tooth organization to attack the astronomy tower, and they started to slaughter all demons masking themselves as people there, not far from him. Lu Qian and Qin Yu bewilder their eyes as they hearing. Those words, at first, I thought that the Dragon Tooth organization had already betrayed humanity, but when I saw those parasitic demons burst out from inside many of the astronomy personnel, I understood, these demons weren't existences that only recently appeared, they existed even 10 or 20 years ago, already hidden themselves among humans, and infiltrated the ranks of those decision makers. In this horrible present, humanity must unite together in order to survive, why a group like the Heavenly Sovereignty Organization would exist and fight again humanity, but now I understand, there have been parasitic being living among us, they wore the skins of those close to us, monitoring our every move, from being unable to perfectly emulate humans to integrating themselves to the point that we were unable to detect them, they've always lived next to us, laughing behind our backs at our foolishness. My comrades were kept like livestock for them, and they were killed when the time was right. The Dragon Tooth Organization never betrayed humanity, they simply bet upon their reputation, their lives, committing themselves to the cause of eliminating each and every parasitic demon that hid themselves away from humans, they had always been humanity's last protection, as a member of Dragon Tooth Organization, my heart never wavered, I will follow them and fight till the day I die. As soon as Ming He's speech is over, suddenly there is a sound of applause from behind, but what's the Use of knowing that now, the familiar figure asking, by the time you realized our existence, we no longer needed to hide ourselves, Hui Zhao is pulling someone behind him, oh right, this is the Dragon Tooth Organization's first group's instructor, you recognize him, don't you, Luo Lin, as he recognizes his acquaintance, Ming He losing his temper, Hui Zhao dragged Commander Lu here just to make Ming He angry. From Hui Zhao's body, insect-like legs growing out, the demon is revealing his true form under the human skin. With a decisively shot, he killed Commander Lu instantly, Ming He staring at him with angrily eyes, quenches his teeth, you goddamn bastard, the demon seemed to just gave up on it only hope of live, the parasitic demon throws Commander Lu away, then he grabs his hair and pulls it down, grumbling, pretending to be human made him feel disgusting, waiting forever for this day to come. 
Behind that human skin, he pulls his hair and tears his whole body, gradually revealing eyes that flashed red, finally, the body is revealed as a disgusting mantis with a size larger than a human, suddenly he glances to the left and asks someone, why haven't you killed this boy yet, are you still trying to be considerate of your younger sister's feelings? Lu Qian doesn't understand why the demons talking to her brother as they have known each other's for too long, but seem like the man also. Don't want to hear the monster says, he screams, shut up. Lu Yi's hand was stopped, the green claw grabs his hair, the monster uses his strong limbs to lock Lu Qian down and says, you're asking me to shut up despite having such a heavily injured body, from the other side, the girl screams, let go of him, but the monster doesn't bat an eye on them, he laughs, it's about time for you to tell your sister the truth, Lu Yi tries his best to escape from the four strong green arms that are tightly. Grasping and twisting, tearing his body, seeing her brother in pain, Lu Qian can't bear it anymore and screams for him to stop while charging with maximum power to try to save her brother, but before she could do anything, her brother was torn apart right before her eyes, her face filled with horror at the scene before her eyes, under that familiar face, Lu Yi doesn't die, but the dark green monster appeared screaming, no, only then, Lu Qian is been released, he tries to use his hand to cover his hideous appearance and apologizes to his sister repeatedly, the shocking truth happens right in front of Lu Qian's vision, she is extremely scarce, her body stops and she can't say a word, her tears keep falling, she can't believe the scene before her eyes, she can't help herself anymore, she stags and faints on the ground, Lu Yi is not willing to seize his sister like that, he shouts, Lu Qian, as the monster sees the two siblings suffering so much pain, he's very happy and says, he he don't worry about it, Senior, superior species like us do also take in pets, you're a huge contributor to the success of our clan, there's no reason why our master wouldn't allow you to keep this human girl as your pet, Louis suddenly spins around and shouts at the guy, silencing him with fiery eyes, shut up, well, you see, that guy, he's doing what we call brotherly love, the kind of affection Louis has for Lu Qian. That's precisely why he's always been so protective of his little sister, even in his most furious state, Lu Yi's footsteps just can't seem to make it to that guy Huizhao's spot, this dude casually locks Lu Yi's arms using his own, pushing him away with those hands, preventing any fists from reaching him, it seems that your memory isn't that good, senior, Huizhao, enough, the familiar voices chime in, demanding these two to stop fighting. Now is not the time for us to be having conflict each other, the shadow of Wu Long, standing against the light, with his Eyes ablaze in red, has Lu Yi and Hui Zhao bowing down beneath him, obediently calling out, Master, the stargazing crowd right now looks utterly terrified, can't believe what they're seeing, Ming He was on high alert from the start, sensing that this scenario might shock her a bit, the most terrified person right now is Qin Yu, who, in his admiration for Wu Long, is attempting to take the astronomy exam and fiercely advocating for him, Wu Long is slowly untying his hairband in a humorous manner. Turning back with fiery red eyes, he said, I'm sorry, I have kept all of you in the dark for so long, but I'm a parasitic demon too, though of the same species, we're not fully on board with Hui Zhao's ideas, in fact, it was an honor for me to work together with you all, no wonder he's the top doctor of humanity, Wu Long is really convincing when he says, no matter how much intelligence we obtain upon evolving, we are still animalistic at our cores, and animals will always feel the need to hunt or be hunted, Qin Yu's heart is practically trying to give up on life as he witnesses his admired doctor openly labeling him as a parasitic monster, she's screaming out, asking, you were the one who found out about the life drop in the meteorite, and you predicted the descent of all those calamity monsters, but professor, you are the one who sacrificed so much for humanity, how could you be a part of them? Qin Yu had just spilled her entire heart out, and she dramatically slumped down, bawling, her eyes out in disbelief, that's a huge lie he's been telling humanity for the past 20 years. Suddenly, Ming He and Qin Yu realize something, they are hearing a familiar voice, so, turns out that's what Hang Jia and Luo Lin are saying as they guide him closer, basically, they're not from this universe, the crowd is all eyes on the two newcomers, even though Tang Tang is still talking despite being injured, since ancient times, we've always looked at space, trying our best to find signs of extraterrestrial life, but little do I know, there's another civilization of intellect right. Beneath my feet, Nestled within the heart of this earth, these monsters are always right here within our own earth. Tang Hang's words denied everything that humanity had known for so long, everyone who heard it is startles and remains silent for a few seconds, suddenly, a man from the astronomy team shouts loudly, Professor Tang was also a member of the astronomy team, how could you say something like this, 
Tang Heng points his finger to Wu Long who is standing not far away, this guy was the one who found the life drop, and said that it was the life source of the calamities, nonsense, the life drop is. Actually called a wormhole stone, there are all kinds of wormhole stones like those deep beneath the earth, when two wormholes clash within each other, these stones will then be activated, and a wormhole portal will be formed between the two, there is no way two wormhole stones colliding on earth suddenly come close to each other and cause a shock wave, meteorites carrying wormhole stones that manage to fall on earth are even more rare, whilst the wormhole stones deep inside the earth's core have literally little chance of being able to be exposed to the Earth's surface, there's even less of a chance for another wormhole stone to directly clash with another wormhole stone when the meteorite falls to the Earth, only twice has this phenomenon occurred upon Earth, the first was at the end of the Cretaceous period, when all the dinosaurs went extinct, and the other time was 40 years ago, from that point onward, humanity entered a period where calamities would frequently descend, and coming along with all kind of supernatural academy and all types of organizations to deal with these monsters, that means that before that, every single wormhole stone that they had brought had been evaluated beforehand, and a hole was dug in order to place the other wormhole stone into the pit where the meteorite would land, and so, they've managed to create one wormhole after another, and countless calamities started coming out from beneath our earth, they claim to be of a civilization beyond. The stars, as a superior race from space, so that they would be able to kill all of us, and make us understand who truly owns this earth, with the smile starting from Professor Wu Long, seems like he has confirmed everything is true, Qin Yu is so scared that she can't believe what she heard and saw and fell on the ground. The people of the astronomy team scratches their heads and realizes how stupid they had been all along to keep searching for outer space and forgetting what was underneath. Their feet, deep underground, after all of that, Ming He finally understands, and so, the calamity prevention plan must have been a lie that has been planned for a very long time, with the goal of exhausting all of humanity's precious research, weapons and resources for war, he realizes that humanity is already exhausted and lost, even though they couldn't bear it, but they can realize it, we've truly lost, suddenly, Tang Hang speaks, but we must not lose the last bit of honor we have, but, we cannot give up the last bit of dignity, the silver-haired teacher's words made Ming He seem to remember, his eyes suddenly became firm and filled with determination, Ming He loudly shouts, the Dragon Tooth organization is humanity's last defense, seeing this, Luo Lin ignores the numerous injuries on her body and agree with him, even if the Dragon Tooth organization ends up completely beaten, we will never let you parasitic demons go, Ming He, Professor Wu Long is the leader of these parasitic demons, and the director of the astronomy team that we've been trying so hard to look for, we can't let him escape, Hui Zhao hearing those tough words and chuckles, the Dragon Tooth organization has almost been completely wiped out, and there's no need for us to leave using the helicopter, master, let's kill everyone here, then release calamitous mist wormhole and take over this entire city, Wu Long also fed up and responds, there are still human experts in the south city, the Dragon Tooth. Organization has also almost completely wiped themselves out fighting against us, he calmly saying, it's better for us to just leave, since this is the largest city in the south for humanity, Hui Zhao obeys and starring at Ming He, determining that he had to kill him to easily leave here. Lu Yi comes close to tell Wu Long that Ming He was delaying the time for the helicopter to take off, he wants to buy time for Lu Qian and his sister to leave while he stays here to fight us, so Lu Yi, who was fighting just now, secretly turned off the plane's automatic takeoff mechanism, Ming He glances at the monitor, damn it, no wonder the timer disappeared, this guy is too cunning, the demon Hui Zhao tells Lu Yi to stay and guard the master, and he will take care of Ming He, as he Warming up his muscles and joints, he gradually approaching Ming He, he says, I'll play with this brat right here, he laughs sarcastically, if it wasn't Louis just now, you would have already been a corpse, so this is the end of this part, please subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell so you don't miss the latest videos, don't forget to leave a comment so I have more motivation to produce more quality videos for you. Thank you for watching.